that are still arriving. I think it's going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, at 9.55, we will be closing the main entries to start making things nice and neat and organized for the ceremony to begin. We have a walkway, so the students will be walking right in front of the seating area, so we need to make sure that our aisles are clear. Poinsettias are actively trying to kill me. As I've said, the ceremony will be live streamed on our College of the Mainland Facebook page, and it is now live. So if you have friends or family that were unable to attend in person, please let them know that they can watch at Facebook by finding the College of the Mainland site. It will also be live streamed at alcc.tv, if that's easier to find or you don't have a Facebook page. alcc.tv. Commencement ceremony for fall 2022 is so popular. We are opening up additional seating, ladies and gentlemen. sure to clear the aisles again that is our pathway for the commencement ceremony stay seated as best you can take your pictures from your seats if at all possible 
We cannot have anyone rushing up to the stage or rushing up to the floor seating for that. So again, please be respectful to all guests who may want to take pictures of their graduates across the stage. We ask that you take a moment to silence or turn off your cell phones at this time. Or right after you tell everyone that they can watch the live stream on Facebook by finding the College of the Mainland page. take that as we're starting on time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are roughly four minutes away from commencement here. Thank you again for joining us for the Fall 22 College of the Mainland graduation ceremony. We are all here to celebrate your graduates' achievements, so please be kind to your neighbors and make sure that they have as much of a chance to enjoy their moment in the spotlight on stage as you do. Once again, we ask that you take a moment to silence, vibrate, or turn off your cell phones for the courtesy of our guests here in attendance. And during the ceremony, please be sure to not block our walkway. That is part of the ceremony, so please stay in your seating area.
Please be seated. Greetings and welcome to the Fall 2022 Commencement Ceremony of College of the Mainland. My name is Dr. Jerry Flieger. I serve as Vice President for Instruction. I want to take this time to welcome family, friends, honored guests, and most importantly, to congratulate the fall graduating class of 2022. Today is overly exciting, and we want to make sure that everyone can enjoy the festivities, so I want to provide a few tips as we prepare to celebrate. First, if our little guests need a break or if you need to access the restroom, please feel free to exit the lobby. Second, we have an exceptionally large crowd, and we want to ensure everyone's safety. Therefore, we ask that you please remain seated and follow instruction of the marshals. Every graduate will have an opportunity to get their picture taken on stage. So please refrain from leaving your seat during the ceremony. Thank you for your cooperation. And now, if you would please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red Bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free, of the free, and the Just a second while our guests get seated. <laughs> guests and for those who are entering, if you'd please join me in a moment of silence as we remember those who are no longer with us. Thank you. You may be seated. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce the President of the College of the Mainland, Dr. Warren Nichols, who will provide the presidential address to the graduates. Thank you, Dr. Flieger. And to all of our guests, and obviously our students who are graduates, first off, welcome. Uh, we're, uh, we're so glad to have everyone here to share with us in the uh, recognition of the accomplishments of this uh, group of men and women. Uh, Y'all have done such outstanding work to be here today with all the trials and tribulations and efforts that come with that. So we very, very much do offer you our sincerest congratulations. 
and well-deserved respect. I'm Warren Nichols, uh, serve as the president here at College of the Mainland. And again, on behalf of our board of trustees, our faculty and staff, we welcome you uh, to today's ceremony. It's always kind of interesting to uh, get a, a sense of who is amongst our students. You know, we, we have uh, students of all ages and sizes. We have uh, students of, of many different cultures and identities. And of course, here at College of the Maine, we welcome them all. Actually, for this fall graduating class, we have 372 students who are completing a total of 384 awards. Yeah. Of our students, 253 are female and 119 are male. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. It's just an interesting, uh, interesting fact. <laughs> Normally, in our uh, in our ceremonies that we have in uh, June, May, and June, we see a lot of our collegiate high school students uh, uh, here in front of us. But uh, today we have one. We have one student who. Uh, has, as a collegiate high school student, that's a student who comes to College of the Bay and gets all of their high school credits at the same time they're getting a two-year college degree. In fact, our one collegiate high school student will actually graduate with the two-year degree a week before getting their high school diploma. Many, many folks uh, who never had the opportunity to go to college or complete college will often have dreams about coming back to college or coming to college. But by then, they've been out of high school for a few years or more. And they often worry about whether they would fit in to the community college amongst all those of a younger generation. In fact, the average age of our graduating class is 28 years old, 28. Our oldest graduate, Blasilda Young. Blasilda, where are you? Stand up. Are you with us today, Blasilda? Whether she's here with us today, she's with us in our hearts and spirits. Blasilda, our oldest graduate, is getting a degree in aesthetic specialty certificate at a very young 67 years of age. We also have another graduate, uh, Luke Drury. Are you here, Luke? Stand up, Luke. Luke is receiving an Associate of Arts degree in General Studies at the old age of 17. <laughs> this morning we're celebrating the students who have received an award during the spring 2022 mini summer, 2022 and fall. This includes, again, 131 with certificate, nine students receiving an Associate of Science, 150 graduates with the Associate of Arts, nine graduates receiving their, their Associate of Arts in Teaching. We have 81 graduates receiving their Associate of Applied Science. And we have four graduates who are in the very first graduating class of our brand new four-year degree in nursing. We have four graduates going from an RN to a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Several years ago, the state 
changed laws and policies that now allow the community college to offer up to a total of five four-year degree programs. College of the Mainland has chosen as their very first Bachelor of Science program, the one of nursing, obviously because of the great need in our community uh, for nurses. So it was a logical fit, especially considering we already have a um, LVN, Licensed Vocational Nursing Program, a two-year associate degree nursing program, and now very happy to add to that with the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. We, uh, I, I, I really wanted to, uh, to accentuate that because, again, not only is it our first, uh, but it, it was a tremendous effort by not only uh, our, uh, our administration, but absolutely by the nursing faculty. Uh, so at this, I would ask our nursing faculty to please rise and to be acknowledged for that hard work in getting this degree created for us. Nursing, would y'all please stand up and be recognized. You know, while, while, we're, uh, while, very, while we are very excited and very happy of the graduates that are here before us who have put in so much hard work to get here today, I am so very proud of the fact that College of the Mainland also recognizes those who are at the very beginning of that academic journey. We have three graduates with us today who have earned their Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency, commonly known as the GED. Congratulations to Pauline Espinoza, <laughs> Samantha Martin, and to Caroline Ventura for that hard work. Congratulations. We all know that, that uh, today is all about our students, as it should be, as it should be. But we also understand that nothing happens without a support structure. Nothing happens without others to help guide you along that pathway and to make sure that you're getting what you require. And certainly among that are the faculty and staff at College of the Mainland who have been with you here every step of the way. Would you ask, or would you join me in recognizing our faculty and staff at College of the Mainland? Would you faculty and staff please rise and be recognized? Thank you. Family and friends um, who, stuck with you during this whole process, maybe, uh, maybe the ones who uh, paid the bills while you could concentrate on your studies, uh, maybe they're the ones, candidly, uh, who helped uh, babysit so that you could come to college. Right? It takes all. It takes everyone. Uh, husbands and wives and past spouses and partners. Uh, we are very proud to have you and to see you here today. But again, it doesn't, it, it, it's not a one person journey. So graduates, if you would, please rise, say thank you to your family and friends. In addition to family and friends and faculty and staff of the College of the Mainland, there are others in our community who make this day possible for all of us. So I'm, I'm asking those in the audience who are members of the military, past or present, who are first responders, who help keep our country safe, would you please stand and be recognized?
With me on the, uh, on the stage today are a list of men and women who, again, have made this today, not only today possible, but candidly, the College of the Mainland possible. We have uh, seven members of the, of the community, volunteers who give their time and efforts on behalf of the college, on behalf of the community, on behalf, on behalf of the ladies and gentlemen with us today. They guide the College of the Mainland in developing policies and procedures, uh, setting the budget, and setting the overall vision and mission for the community college to make sure that we are doing what you, this community, expect from us. I would like to introduce those Board of Trustees to you, beginning with Dr. William McGarvey, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Ms. Melissa Skipworth, Secretary. Mr. Kyle Dixon. Mr. Donald Gartman. And Ms. Don King. Would you please join me and acknowledge them? <laughs> also on the platform are the College, uh, College of the Mainland Administration. Uh, we have with us Dr. Jerry Flieger, Vice President for Instruction. Dr. Clint Burton, Vice President for Fiscal Affairs. Dr. Lisa Watson, Vice President for Institutional Advancement and Executive Director of the Com Foundation. Mr. Ron Levick, Chief Information Officer. Dr. Rocky Barney, Dean of Instruction. And Dr. Chris Kimbark, Dean of Students. Ladies and gentlemen, they deserve a round of recognition. We also have with us on stage, and one who will be introduced shortly, is our student keynote speaker and soon to be graduate of the class of 2022, Mr. Matthew Coleman. With, uh, we would now like to, I would ask uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Bill McGarvey, our board chairman, to come forward for a few remarks. Thank you, Dr. Nichols. Hello, I'm Bill McGarvey, and I have the pleasure of serving as chair of the College of the Mainland Board of Trustees. On behalf of the board, I'd like to welcome everyone to College of the Mainland's commencement ceremony. This is our opportunity to recognize and celebrate our fall 2022 graduates. And to our graduates, congratulations. You did it and we are so happy for you. In graduating, you have achieved a significant accomplishment, one of many more that are sure to follow in the very bright future ahead of you. You have every right to be proud of what you have achieved and how you have achieved it. You made this your goal, a goal that you truly wanted and, to, and were willing to work hard for, a goal that you would not let anyone or anything deter you from achieving. Remember how you did this, because this is the recipe for success that you can use to achieve your future endeavors. Also, I want to thank you for allowing College of the Mainland to be a part of your path to success. And although we may have participated in just one step in the path, it's an important step because it enables the steps that will follow. Our college's mission is student success, and that is why it is so gratifying to see all of you here today. Your success is our success. You are the reason we are here. You make our work worthwhile. Graduates, you make us proud. Thank you. And I would now like to turn the podium over to Dr. Chris Kimbark.
Thank you, Dr. McGarvey. The following names I'm about to introduce represent the fall 2022 graduating student club officers who volunteered their time to serve in leadership roles in several student organizations on campus. We appreciate your service and want to recognize you for your accomplishments. Please hold your applause until I have completed the list of names. And when I call your name, please stand. Fall 2022 graduating club officers, Phi Theta Kappa, Amy Coffin, treasurer. Student Government Association, Matthew Coleman, historian. Cosmetology Club, Myra Pena, co-president. Nikki Benegar, co-president. Yatziri Ruiz Velasquez, vice president. Sarah Bunn, treasurer. Chloe Kenny, secretary. Raven Schloss, club representative for SGA. Kayla Scott, photographer. Gamers Union, Tristan Sapsky, president. Minority Men for Excellence, Matthew Coleman, officer. P Tech Club, Carly Simpson, president. Christy Gravett, vice president. Savannah Pendergast, club representative for SGA. Madison Quick, secretary. Jeffrey McDonald, treasurer. Science Club, Nancy Soto, treasurer. Please join me in congratulating these students on their dedication to College of the Mainland. And now we come to the part of our ceremony when we recognize and celebrate the ultimate accomplishment of our students, the successful completion of their educational goals and dreams, at least to this point in their lives. We will begin by hearing from one of our candidates. I would like to invite Taj Cornelius, Director of Student Life, to the stage to introduce today's keynote speaker. Good morning. I'm Taj Cornelius, the Director of Student Life at the College of the Mainland. Student Life at the College of the Mainland offers various leadership and campus involvement opportunities to make the college experience something special. These engagement opportunities allow me to connect with students in vari at various events and activities. While I meet many students each year, few are as exceptional as today's keynote speaker. Last spring, he was participating in a student life recreation sports event, and I was immediately wowed by the sportsmanship that the student displayed, especially towards his fellow students. His energy, morale, character, and discipline were screaming to me, student leader excellence. Matthew made quite an impression on me and others at the college, then and consistently throughout the rest of that year. When others were taking break from classes during the summer months, Matthew was the first one at the gym facility at 7 a.m. getting his workout followed by additional classes to help him advance his studies. He displayed self-discipline and determination that conveyed this was an exceptional student. I soon discovered not only was he a great human being, but he was also an academic scholar. In fact, Matthew will, be, will graduate with A's or a perfect 4.0 GPA. After telling Matthew about leadership opportunities at the college, he quickly rose to the challenge, and by late summer, Matthew was elected officer of the Student Government Association, and soon will be representing the college at a leadership conference at the University of Texas, Austin, as a member of COMS Minority Men for Excellence, mn for e organization. We are proud of this young man, and it is my honor to present your fall 2022 commencement speaker, Mr. Matthew Coleman.
Thank you. 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 Before I begin my speech, I would like to give a couple thank yous. Hold on, I'm a little tall. <laughs> I would first like to thank the Board of Trustees. I would like to thank the President, Dr. Nichols himself, the Vice President, the faculty, the staff, and the people who work behind the scenes to make this great college as great as it is, like Mr. Taj, Mr. Scott, and Ms. Pam, who works in the gym. But most importantly, I would like to say thank you to the fall class of 2022 because we are graduating today. I hope that this day is a day where you have accomplished one of your greatest achievements, a day where you get a degree that you've worked so hard to deserve. It is my hope that you look back at some of the time that you've had here at the college and you just laugh. I cannot be the only one who has left class in esteem and has gone to the parking lot looking for my car for 10 minutes and then remembering I parked in parking lot B. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the new building right next to the steam, the ICB. It takes up like half the campus, kind of hard to miss it. Whenever they did the grand opening, one of the slogans that they used was a season a transformation, a, a season of transformation. And looking out amongst all of you, I think it's appropriate to say that we are all about to flip a page to a new chapter in our life and enter a season of transformation. Today in this speech, I wanna to talk to you guys about what can we expect when we enter this season of transformation and how can we use these things to our advantage? If you're with me, can I get a yeah? Tintin never say, I'm graduating today. Ah, <laughs> uh, nobody said it. <laughs> First though, I would like to share a story. October 2020 was uh, a very interesting time for me. At the time, uh, I was, a, high I was uh, a senior in high school and I thought that I was going to go play college and football, uh, football in college. On this particular day, I was at the field I was doing some footwork, some conditioning, trying to get my body right for the upcoming season. And I get a text. It was from my mom. And the text read, Matthew, I need you to come home ASAP. And the A was in all caps, and the S was in all caps, and the A was in all caps. You know, I guess it's just our mom's text, and like the respectable son I try to be, I just text her back, yes, ma'am. I didn't think much of it. I pack my things into my car, and, and I head home. But when I get home, that's when things get a little interesting. I, I pull into the driveway and the first thing I notice is my father runs to the backyard. I'm like, oh, that's a little strange. So I walk up the stairs of our wooden porch and I open the door and see that nobody's in the living room. This is a family of six, somebody's gotta be in the living room. So I, I go down the hallway, I look left and I see that everybody is in my sister's room and everybody has this real somber look on their face. Now, now remember, I just came from practice. I'm like, yo, what is going on here? Am I missing something? Is somebody dying? <laughs> you know, what's going on? And my brother, he pulls me to the side and he tells me my father had committed an act that was going to change the trajectory of our life forever. My mom decided it was best for us to move from the house that we lived in our whole life to San Leon and San Leon to Texas City, in apartments right across from the college. That was January 2021. Just like that, my life had changed. Just like that, my life had altered. Just like that, I had entered a season of transformation. And you can imagine what those first six months were like. There was cussing, fighting, yelling, so much yelling. <laughs> We had just moved into a new apartment, apartment carrying a, a load of hurt and trauma. My mom was now not just a single mom of four kids, but a single mom of four teenagers. It was, it was hard to see my mom fall on the floor and start crying, blaming herself for everything that had happened. It was hard to see my sisters, who were 15 at the time, go back and forth with my mom and fall into cycles of depression. It was hard to watch my brother 
who was 17 at the time, be anywhere but home and cast out his anger on people who weren't the true cause, I didn't think that a season of transformation would be this hard. Class of 2022, when we enter a season of transformation, things are gonna seem broken, confusing, and chaotic. It is inevitable that we will encounter moments when we are uncertain of what next or what lies ahead. Maybe you haven't got the job that you thought this degree was gonna qualify you for. Maybe you haven't got that promotion or that raise yet. Maybe you don't know what your next steps are gonna be after you walk out the doors of this graduation. When you enter a season of transformation, things are gonna seem not put together, but let me reassure you, class of 2022, that is normal. To continue the story, like I said, it was my senior year of high school, and I was blessed to still be able to do the things that seniors get to do. I was able to go to prom, stay out with my friends just late enough to stress out my mom, and finally, I was able to graduate. But my senior year was a hard year for me, and not just because of everything that had happened in the household, but because I didn't know where I wanted to go after high school. I thought that maybe I wanted to go overseas and become a missionary or go off to a university. And yeah, calm was in the back of my mind, but believe it or not, it wasn't always option number one. <laughs> but it was until I heard that calm was given out free tuition through the Open Doors Promise Scholarship for our graduating class, and I would be able to go to calm tuition free. Uh, then it became clear that I was destined to become a duck. Fast forward about two weeks before classes started, I just finished registering for my classes. I was crossing the T's, down the I's, uh, doing all the other things I needed to do for the upcoming semester. And I remember having this very surreal moment. I'm sitting at the kitchen table, and I close my laptop. And I tell myself in that moment, Matthew, by the time you leave the college, you're going to leave with a 4.0 GPA. You're not gonna let anything get in the way or distract you from this grade point average. Point number two, fall class of 2022. When you enter a season of transformation, you have to hold on to something tangible. For me, it was a 4.0. For you, maybe taking time to learn a new skill, a new instrument, maybe setting aside money to go buy that rental property. From, from experience, there's something special about that tangible thing to guide you out of a tough situation. It's the sense of, I may not know where I'm going yet, but I'm still going to hold on to this GPA. I may not know where my next steps are, but I'm still going to set aside money for that rental property. I, I may not have that job yet, but I'm still going to make it a priority to read with my child at least once a week. Uh, holding on to something tangible will give you uh, something to hold on to when it feels like everything else is slipping. Fall class of 2022, I'm honored to say that I have graduated with that 4.0 GPA. And not, oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And not only that, I was able to serve as an officer for Minority Men for Excellence and become a historian for the Student Government Association. When I held on to that something tangible, so many blessings followed soon after. Number three, and lastly, when you enter a season of transformation, it doesn't necessarily mean you, you've, you start a new page, but rather you have some blank spaces. What do you mean by that, Matthew? When I entered a season of transformation, I still had to take over my acts of leadership, my acts of optimism, my acts of trying to be understanding and, and a good listener. Take the things that you've learned in previous seasons and, and apply them to this new chapter in your life. Bring the tools that you've learned and still use them. But see, the blessing, the blessing about a new chapter is now you've got some blank spaces, blank spaces where you can fill in a new purpose, a new dream. I'm hoping for a new tax bracket for somebody. <laughs> the cool thing about a season of transformation is you can fill in new things that you're going to learn in this new season, and I hope that you write them down. Class of 2022, I'll be the first to tell you that a season of transformation can be hard sometimes. In these moments of difficulty, find the tangible thing that you can resort back to when times become tough. Know that this is a time where life is going to push you to try new things. And I hope that you do try them. 
More than anything, I hope you find moments in this new season where you look back and laugh. Let this season of transformation be just that for you, a transformation. Congratulations, fall class of 2022, and go Ducks. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. You are an inspiration. Now let us hear from graduates about what earning a degree or a certificate means to them and their loved ones. Let us watch our graduate voices. My family, like my mom and my dad, um, they didn't grow up like as the richest people, so they really bust like their butt to get where they are now. They're like my motivation because like they showed me like if you work hard and you do what you need to do, then like life rewards you. I just, I wanted a better career. Uh, I wanted a degree and this is, you know, I'm in the maintenance field already. So this kind of just fell in line. And also my grandfather was an operator. So I mean, he did pretty well for himself. I kind of just decided to follow in his footsteps. I wanted to go off, but uh, when the pandemic hit, it kind of put a stop on what I initially had planned to do with my life and where I wanted to go for school. So the school had offered uh, scholarships for us to go here. So I was like, hey, might as well just take advantage of it. And I actually liked it here a lot. <laughs> I came back to school a little later in life because I really wanted to prove to myself that I could do it and get a degree in something that I've already had the experience doing for the last 18 years. It makes me feel more accomplished for myself. Yeah. This letter is from my mom and dad. Uh, the first one is from my wife. This letter is from my mom and dad. From my husband. It says, Dear Princess. It says, Dear Jason. A letter to our daughter. To my wonderful wife. I admire your strength, resilience, and confidence in yourself. We do not have enough words to describe how happy we are to see your growth. You are one of the best people I know. <laughs> it's part of why I married you. As my only daughter, I am proud of you. And I know it wasn't the easiest road to take, but I'm glad you stuck through it. You are so kind and work to connect with everyone you meet. You're a good person who deserves absolutely the best life has to offer. As your parents, we can't wait to see what happens next. You are the most supportive person I know. You want me and everybody you know to do, to do and be their absolute best. Don't think of this as the end of the road. Think of this as the beginning of a new journey. Keep following your dreams. Just know your family loves you and will be with you till the end. Love you tons, baby girl. <laughs> that was actually really cute. Congratulations on graduating, Jason. Your wife loves you, Janelle. Great job, our dear daughter. We love you so, so much. Oh. <laughs> love, husband. Get in there and get it done. You know, the longer you put it off, the longer it's gonna take. You know, the sooner you get that over with and out of the way, the sooner you are to getting where you wanna be. Anybody that's clueless like me, how I was when I first started, plan ahead. <laughs> and for anybody that's um, that's going back to school, you know, go for it. It's never too late. Do your best, it doesn't matter if anybody is better than you. You do what's best for you and try your hardest, that's it. <laughs> I think that coming to school, especially at a community college, you're gonna have a lot of support and you're gonna get a really good foundation and it's definitely worth the investment and the hardship that you're gonna go through to get that degree there in the end. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing please rise?
President Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for this degree as prescribed by the College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Congratulations. Stephanie Guerrero, nursing, highest honors. Lauren Head, nursing. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Science please rise? <laughs> President Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Associate of Science. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for this degree as prescribed by the College of the Mainland. Thank you. By the, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates the degree of Associate of Science. Congratulations. <laughs> Skylar Pope, Mathematics. Nathan Quinones, Computer Science. Shauna Weisheimer, Natural Science. Will the candidates for the degree of Associates of Arts please rise? <laughs> President Nichols, it's a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Associates of Arts. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for this de degree as prescribed by College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates the degree of Associate of Arts. Congratulations. Brittany Adams, Business, Honors. Hope Bautista, General Studies. Jessica Brooks, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors.
Anthony Charles, Criminal Justice. Brianna Crawford, General Studies. Aurora Chavez, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Highest Honors. Madison Collier, General Studies. Devin Cook, General Studies. Portia Creer, General Studies. Angela Delau, General Studies. Emily Devassier, Visual Arts. Madison Devassier, General Studies, Highest Honors. Mia Marat Diaz Calderon, General Studies, Honors. Luke Drewy, General Studies. Jillian Drisdale, General Studies. Julian Fontenot, General Studies. Aubrey Garcia, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Christopher Garcia, General Studies. Yasmin Gomez, General Studies. Siandon Grant, General Studies. Jeremiah Hall, General Studies. Krista Hennessy, Criminal Justice, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Darlandia Hernandez, General Studies. Stephanie Gonzalez, Business. Carter Howe, General Studies. Ashley Jones, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. DeAndre Noxon, General Studies. Savannah Knight, General Studies. Brenda Landis, Criminal Justice, Phi Theta Kappa. Christian Little, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Highest Honors. Anaya Longoria, General Studies. Larissa Lopez, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Joseph Lovell, General Studies, Honors. Marianne Lowry, General Studies. Matthew Coleman, General Studies, Highest Honors. (laughs) 
Anahi Manduhano, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Charlotte Martino, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Ryan Montazari, General Studies, Honors. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Nowlin, General Studies. <laughs> Brittany Patton, General Studies. Jared Polifka, General Studies. <laughs> Emily Reed, Criminal Justice, Phi Theta Kappa, Highest Honors. <laughs> Marissa Rivera, General Studies, Highest Honors. <laughs> Garyelle Rollins, General Studies. Evelyn Salazar, General Studies. Diana Santa Rosa Valencia, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Nicole Samite, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Kristen Silvas, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Cheryl A. Sledge, General Studies. Nancy Soto, General Studies. Shelby Tooman, General Studies. Demi Todaro, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. <coughs> Isabella Vitiel Valdez, Criminal Justice. Rebecca Watson, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Ross White, General Studies. Ladesha Human, General Studies, Highest Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Will the candidates for the degree of Associates of Arts in Teaching please rise? <laughs> President Nichols, it's a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Associates of Arts in Teaching. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for the diploma as prescribed by College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on the candidates the degree of Associate of Arts in Teaching. Congratulations, graduates.
Jacqueline Castillo, teaching. Rachel Clark, teaching. Shannon Mays, teaching. Isamar Padilla, teaching, highest honors. Elvira Puebla, teaching. Marissa Vuitonet, teaching, highest honors. Brielle Williams Wilson, teaching. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Science please rise? <laughs> President Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Science. I certify that they've completed all the requirements for this degree as prescribed by the College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates the degree of Associate of Applied Science. Congratulations, graduates. Katrina Ansbach, Nursing Honors. <laughs> Megan Appling, Nursing. <laughs> Rodnisha Brewster, Medical Assisting, Honors. <laughs> Sabrina Castillo, Nursing. Monique Clemen, nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Jesus Sidrian, Petrochemical Process Technology, honors. Reese Cole, Petrochemical Process Technology. Monique Cortez, nursing, Phi Theta Kappa, honors. Genesis De La Torre, nursing. Jennifer Dennison, business, Phi Theta Kappa, highest honors. Fu Do, Petrochemical Process Technology. <laughs> Lu 
Justin Flowers, Petrochemical Process Technology, highest honors. Nicholas Fuentes, Petrochemical Process Technology, honors. Mackenzie Garland, Nursing. Christy Gravitt, Petrochemical Process Technology, highest honors. Caitlin Gray, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa, highest honors. <laughs> Joanna Gutierrez, Petrochemical Process Technology. DeAndrea Hester, Nursing. Giselle Ishwime, Nursing. Logan Jones, Petrochemical Process Technology, Phi Theta Kappa, highest honors. Mackenzie Catrola, Nursing. Monica Laura, Nursing. Marissa Limas, Petrochemical Process Technology. Destiny Keeler, Petrochemical Process Technology. Jeanette Lolly, Nursing, Honors. Raquel Macapagal, Nursing. Angela Maldonado, Welding Technology, Honors. Jennifer Marguez, Medical Assisting. Aldoberto Marocan, Petrochemical Process Technology. Angelica McLean, Nursing. Jeremiah Morgan, Petrochemical Process Technology, honors. Saul Moreno, Petrochemical Process Technology. Charmaine Paladin, nursing. Victor Pedraza, criminal justice. Rosalinda Pena, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Savannah Pendergast, Petrochemical Process Technology, Highest Honors. Velimir Petrov, Process, Petrochemical Process Technology, Honors. Madison Quick, Petrochemical Process Technology, Honors. Jasmine Quintana, Nursing. Ricardo Robledo, Petrochemical Process Technology. Tristan Sapsky, Graphic Design, Phi Theta Kappa, Highest Honors. Jessica Serna, 
nursing. Brianna Schilling, nursing, Phi Theta Kappa, honors. Mark Silva, Petrochemical Process Technology. Carly Simpson, Petrochemical Process Technology. Gage Slaughter, Petrochemical Process Technology, Phi Theta Kappa. Manuel Solis, drafting, honors. Bradley Velusek, Petrochemical Process Technology. Orfabia Lobos, Petrochemical Process Technology. Chase Vinson, Petrochemical Process Technology. Rebecca Wally, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Jonathan Weaver, Petrochemical Process Technology. Ashton Whitby, Petrochemical Process Technology. Jason Weiniger, Petrochemical Process Technology, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Will the candidates for a certificate please rise? <laughs> President Nichols, it's a pleasure for me to present these candidates for a certificate. I certify that they've completed all the requirements for the award prescribed by the College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the College Board of Trustees, I hereby confer on these candidates a certificate. Congratulations. Cardinal Agpen, Vocational Nursing. Angie Amaro, Vocational Nursing. Julio Benavides, Professional Bookkeeper. Nikki Binniger, Cosmetology. Maria Barunda Montana, Medical Assisting, Phi Theta Kappa. Madison Bodding, Aesthetic Specialty. Megan Boyd, Vocational Nursing.
Sarah Bunn, Cosmetology. Lakeisha Cohen, Networking. Amy Coffin, Vocational Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. Demia Crable, Occupational Safety and Health Technology. Carla Colton, Vocational Nursing. Elizabeth Dauphiné, Vocational Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. Brianna Dixon, Vocational Nursing. Chrisley Aguia, Vocational Nursing. Veronica Escobar, Vocational Nursing. Ana Cecilia Estevez, Cosmetology. LaShonda Freeman, Vocational Nursing. Angela Garcia, Aesthetic Specialty. Carla Huerta, Medical Assisting. Fernanda Hernandez, Vocational Nursing. Well, Jackson, Vocational Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. Shalonda Jackson, Aesthetic Specialty. Chloe Kinney, Cosmetology. Amber Madden, Graphic Design. Stephanie Mayu, Entrepreneurship, Phi Theta Kappa. Holly Mays, Aesthetic Specialty. Cheyenne Miller, Aesthetic Specialty. Gabrielle Miller, Medical Assisting. Madison Miller, Aesthetic Specialty. Catherine Moreau, Cosmetology, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Natalie Mungia, Cosmetology. <laughs> Frances Ndula, Vocational Nursing. <laughs> Mayra Pena, Cosmetology. Samara Reyes, Medical Assisting. <laughs> Chloe Richardson, Aesthetic Specialty. Bridget Rourke, Vocational Nursing. <laughs> Estefany Rodriguez Galdemez. Barbering, Phi Theta Kappa. Yatsiri Ruiz Velasquez, Cosmetology. Oh, 
Raven Schloss, Cosmetology. <laughs> Kayla Scott, Cosmetology, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Chelsea Shepherd, Vocational Nursing. Brian Sykes, professional bookkeeper. <laughs> Megan Smith, vocational nursing. <laughs> Carolyn Ventura, entrepreneurship, Texas certificate of high school equivalency. Megan Wilson, Vocational Nursing. Will the candidates for the Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency please rise? <laughs> President Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for the diploma as prescribed by the College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates the Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Congratulations, graduates. Janet Amaro, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Erica Amaro, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Chandra Beck, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Judith Berlanga, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Lizeth Carmago Colchado, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Jasmine Hendon, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Amanda Hicks, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Mercedes Jenkins, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Erica Martinez, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Travis McKean, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Lore McMullen, Texas Success Certificate of High School Equivalency. Celeste Posada, Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Yeah. 
Adam Puentes takes the certificate of high school equivalency. Ava Ramon takes the certificate of high school equivalency. Caitlin Rimpler takes the certificate of high school equivalency. Sierra Retail takes a certificate of high school equivalency. Jasmine Tovar takes a certificate of high school equivalency. Kayla Vitari takes a certificate of high school equivalency. Isaac Williamson, tax a certificate of high school equivalency. Zalia Wyatt, tax a certificate of high school equivalency. I'd like to share just a, a few uh, closing comments. Uh, graduates, just like each, and of you, each of you, I started my academic journey uh, completing uh, from a uh, two-year community college here in Texas as well. And uh, I'm a first generation, the only one in my family to go to college. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot expected of us except to uh, graduate high school. Uh, stay out of jail and get a job. That was pretty much, pretty much all that was expected of us. Uh, and, uh, and most of us accomplished all three of those goals. We, uh, I, uh, I pursued a career in law enforcement uh, and uh, was a, uh, proud to be a police officer for 10 years before moving to a, a community college for, for teaching for, uh, and working since with community colleges since 1983. So, when I tell you that this should be just the first stage in your journey, that's really what it is. Many of you will be going directly to the universities, and uh, we wish you the absolute uh, best. We know we have prepared you well for that journey at the university. Many of you will be going directly into the workforce. and. We wish you the absolute best in that endeavor as well. But honestly, regardless of where you go from here, the academic journey should never stop. There's professional development, there's continuing education, continuing training. Uh, there will always be opportunities for you to learn more so that you are even better prepared than you are as you leave for us today. So take a, uh, take a day or two and, 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 and enjoy, maybe, maybe a week or two, but then remember that this is just the first step of a journey that should last you a lifetime. 
At this point, I would ask our graduates to please stand. Okay, we have, we have actually two points of business yet to be completed. You notice that y'all all have this thing dangling over here, right? Uh, we call that a tassel. The tassel on the side that you currently have it represents that your journey has yet to be completed. When you move that tassel to the other side, it means you have completed that first journey. So join me and turn that tassel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join me in congratulating the College of the Mainland Fall Class of 2022. Graduates, please be seated. We must never forget to thank those who made today happen. And so I wanted to personally, on behalf of everyone here, thank all of our employees, our marshals, our, uh, our staff, everyone who had anything to do with putting this together, and that's a whole lot of folks. Thank you for making today a special day for our citizens, our community, our graduates. Thank you for doing that. Would y'all please stand and be recognized, those who helped make this happen today. Thank you. One last, uh, one last request. We are, we're going to ask our guests to remain seated until the stage and guests and faculty have exited. If you will do that with us, that means we can get everybody out the doors um, and, uh, and then have pictures taken uh, and, and go to lunch or, or whatever it is we do. But thank everyone again. Congratulations to our graduates. We're so proud of each and every one of you. And thank you again for coming today. We are dismissed. Thank you.